Now it's important to note that when people think about lubrication, sometimes they just watch at the, the, the cost of a bottle of oil without realizing the quality and the effect it, it has on the overall cost of operation. In fact, the cost of oil over the, the life of your vehicle is less than 1% of the total cost. Less than 1%. You spend a lot more in terms of maintenance, labor, repairs, fuel. And the thing is, if you use a high quality lubricant, you can reduce all those areas. So your labor costs will go down, your fuel costs will go down, and you do less maintenance. So that overall, in, in terms of protecting the engine, that is a lot better in terms of using a high quality oil to give it that level of performance. So that brings the question of, so we've introduced the Ultra, Shell Helix Ultra. We introduced the Shell Helix HX7. We introduced the Shell Helix HX5. And that has given me optimum performance. So why do I need a high mileage oil? What benefit does this bring to me? And the way we like to explain it is to think about your body. Now, one of the analogies we use is that oil is like the lifeblood to the body because, you know, it, it, it comes in contact with all the organs and, and keeps everything working. But the problem is, as I said, that over time, you'll find that you'll have deterioration. But in the same way that, you know, somebody is not, if they know that at age 40, you are more prone to heart disease, you wouldn't wait until you get a heart attack to then decide that you want exercise. What we are saying is that since we know that for vehicles that are used highly, once they reach around the range of 100,000 kilometers, they start to experience problems in terms of shrunken seals and leaks. Why wait until you get a problem to have to spend unnecessary money? So that's where the Shell Helix high mileage oil comes in. We recommend that we use it for vehicles that are approaching 100,000 kilometers so that you can prolong the life of the engine and actually, in a certain sense, reduce the aging. Shell, as, as you may know, spends the most money of all the oil companies in terms of research and development. And you have a team of over 200 people constantly looking at the questions of how can we improve our oils. And it's because of this commitment to research and development, because of this investment in technology, that Shell has been able to maintain its position as number one for the last six years. So the question is, how can we reduce the engine wear, how can we extend the life of the engine, how can we reverse this process. And the problem is that most people keep their vehicles for longer now. They don't get rid of them as early. A vehicle is an investment. If you have a business, you want it to perform, you want it to work. But with vehicles increasing, getting older and older in age, with them having to work at a more severe service, you know, the question is, how can I continue to get value out of this product? So the question is, how do I maintain performance? Now, obviously, if you're using a high-quality shell lubricant, you know, you will have the engine operating at, at optimal and peak condition. But the fact of the matter is that over time, because of the effect of heat on the engine, you find that you have the seals being affected, starting to shrink, you have gaskets starting to leak. And then once you start to have leaks in the engine, you have problems with oil consumption and increase or decrease performance getting progressively worse and worse. If you use a high quality oil, you kind of keep that off as long as possible. But eventually if you don't do something, you'll reach the point where you have to spend money on doing some sort of it. Now this oil is specially formulated with seal condition additives. Remember I told you that an engine is, is a severe environment. The effect of heat on the seals tends to cause them to shrink over time. And with the operation, with the high number of reps, you tend to get wear and tear. 
So what these seal condition add additives do actually cause the seals to expand so that they're a little bit more efficient in terms of controlling the oil, which means you have less oil consumption and the engine would generate less deposits. It has special anti-wear additives so that in the areas that are prone to wear, the engine is protected. And then it's, it's blended to help improve the combustion in your combustion chamber. The important thing about these oils that we are talking about is that, you know, people, once your, your, your vehicle starts to get a little older, they think, well, I can use anything in it. But these engines have been designed with, with specific tolerances to give you performance. If you're using a high quality oil, there's no reason that your tolerances should change, that you should have so much wear and tear that you can't follow the manufacturer's recommendation. And the oils that we are talking about are oils that are designed to meet the highest level of performance in the market now. So we're not talking about a foil for, for old vehicles. Um, and, and even when we're talking about 14 years, 2001 is, is, is you know, new vehicles, you're talking about modern vehicles, emission control vehicles. We're talking about providing a lubricant that gives you the kind of protection that the manufacturer requires. The other thing that you'd see is that we give the, the viscosity that the manufacturer says. You know, sometimes people talk when you think about high mileage oils, you automatically think, well, I have to get something thick and heavy here. But again, what these things do is promote the wear even faster. So that what is important is to get an oil that could arrest this aging process, rejuvenate seals, and continue to give you the kind of protection you need if you want maximum performance out of the engines. The problem that we have with, with engines now is that engines, as opposed to previous years, are a lot smaller in size. They're smaller in size, but they have to produce more power. So although an engine of itself is a severe condition for, for lubrication, because the, the engines have to generate more power, there's more stress on the engine. And because of this additional stress and RPMs, it means that you can have increased wear and tear in these engines. And of course, with the technologies that are being used in these engines, it's a little bit more costly to maintain. Let's talk about some myths about high mileage, because you know, there have been other high mileage oils on the market before. Um, and, and giving people you know, a wrong impression of what high mileage oils actually are. So, first thing, are high mileage oils the same, uh, not the same as regular oils? That is true, because the high mileage oils have special additives to give you this protection when you have these highly used vehicles, especially approaching 100,000 kilometers. Does a high mileage oil have to be a thick oil? No, it does not have to be a thick oil. The only time actually that you really need a, a, a thicker oil is if you need to do a mechanical job on your, on your engine. You know, your engine has wear and you need to do some work on it. But under the normal circumstances, if you use the oil that the manufacturer recommends, you will still get the level of performance that you need. Will the high mileage oil fix a mechanical problem? Is it a magic wand? And the answer to that is no, it's not a magic wand. If you have serious damage to your engine, this oil is not for you. What we are talking about is if you have a vehicle and you want to maintain performance, you use this high mileage oil.